Our next speaker is Marco Pogacnik, who uh, is a great friend of Gatekeeper and has spoken at our conferences before. Um, unfortunately, I think Marco is not able to be present with us, so we have a recording of his, his talk. Um, he's a UNESCO artist for peace, and he weaves together art and geomancy. Marco is known for his work with lithopuncture, a form of acupuncture for the earth. He will talk to us today about how to retain our human identity um, in the face of what he calls the accelerated dance of the earth changes. It's very much on today's theme. Um, as I say, his talk has been pre-recorded because of uh, uh, challenges with broadband quality, but I'm sure you will enjoy it. So here is his talk. I'll go for catch next. Um. Together with my dear friend Boyan Bretzel, we are creating this uh, video uh, in the time when in Glasgow the conference on climate changes is going on. Um, I believe that from the point of view of our geomantic re research, uh, the concept of the climate changes is much too narrow. It, it is too narrow. Uh, to uh, be, be able to confront the, all the uh, problems that humanity is facing uh, to, together with nature on this planet. Um, so I would, I would like uh, in this talk uh, to, uh, first of all, to show a, a different possible view upon what is going with humanity and the planet. Uh, since uh, the early 80s, I am aware that uh, the Earth uh, and humanity as well uh, is involved in a very basic tra transforming process. Uh, in effect, it is a transmutation, which means not just changing the form, but also changing the, the content, especially the content of our relationship, human relationship, towards nature and uh, towards the Earth and its different worlds of e existence. Um, it, it started with uh, insight uh, that says uh, that uh, the uh, Earth as we uh, knew it uh, uh, long ago, since long ago, does not exist anymore, that uh, we are uh, in the phase when uh, the Earth uh, as uh, one-dimensional uh, environment exists uh, only in our memory, uh, while at the same time uh, the, the planet uh, Gaia and, uh, is and her uh, collaborators are creating a new uh, sp special, spe special, <laughs> no, spatial uh, structure um, th th that is uh, composed of different spheres. Um, I, I had, uh, for example, s such a dream that uh, inspired me very much. Uh, I, I became uh, like a giant and I am uh, floating in the uh, in the space, and then I see the Earth, the Earth uh, very beautiful uh, in, in its colors, but when I uh, get it into my hands, uh, I realize it is made of concrete, and it is a, a model painted with oil uh, colors. <clears throat> and and um, I uh, throw, threw it threw it uh, against the ground and the earth split in many different pieces. And all these pieces uh, formed uh, as spheres. It, it, and this, this sphere starts to uh, um, rotate around a, a center, a, center a, a central point, which I would call Gaia, the, the ancient name 
for uh, the Earth. And uh, a kind of cluster was formed, as we know it from uh, chemistry, a, a cluster um, composed of these different spheres. I, in effect, I, I was shown uh, a process of uh, decay on one side of the narrow uh, intellectual model of the Earth uh, towards a new uh, kind of uh, composition that includes uh, different dimensions, different spheres of, of reality, um, those visible and invisible.